If you eat meat, you'll want to hear this. A new report from the World Health Organization is linking processed and red meats to cancer. KCOY 12's Corey James spoke with a medical expert about the potential risks. He joins us now live from Santa Maria. Corey? Hey, Scott, that medical expert says the American Cancer or the American Association of Cancer Research rather has been reporting on this issue for years. And she says even though it's taken some time to get the message out, she's glad people are finally hearing about it. When it comes to bacon, Lisa Trauma says on a scale of 1 to 10, her love for it is... Probably about an 8. Yeah, I like bacon. But a new report from the World Health Organization could change that for some bacon lovers like Trauma. WHO reveals processed meats like sausage, ham, and bacon cause cancer. It even says it poses the same risk as smoking cigarettes. Brianna King, a nutritionist at Dignity Health, says nitrates, a chemical often found in processed meats, is one reason for this health scare. These are added to these processed meats to maintain color and also prevent spoilage. King, however, says there is no need to completely cut processed meats from your diet. She says just be aware of how much of it you're putting into your body. Moderation and variety has always been one of our biggest nutrition messages for the public. The healthiest diet that anybody consumes is one that's two-thirds plant-based. So the majority of what you're eating should be plant-based, should not be focused on the meats. It's a plant-based diet Orchid Market offers. We do our own chicken salad, we do our own egg salad, we do our own tuna salad. So um, I think people are becoming more and more aware of health-conscious meals. Now, the World Health Organization study specifically mentions 50 grams of processed meat eaten daily can increase one's chances of colorectal cancer by 18%. 50 grams is equivalent to one hot dog or less than two slices of sandwich meat or even just a couple slices of bacon. Now, again, the nutritionist we spoke with said this is all about moderation. She said there's no need to go and raid your freezer. Just keep an eye on what you're putting into your body. We're live in Santa Maria. Corey James, KCY 12 Central Coast News. Now, Corey, I do like to have a salami and cheese sandwich a few days a week. It's going to be all right, right? <laughs> I think you'll be okay. Just a couple days a week. If you eat it daily, your chances might be a little uh, high of getting it. So hopefully, yeah, two days should be fine. Okay, I'll be sure to mix in some veggies with it, too. Thank you, Corey. Still ahead.